Today we're going to look at another one of my custom 2018 Peterbilt 389s. I uh, apologize for the overcast skies, but it's been raining for two weeks and sunshine has been a minimum. But with this uh, diamond white paint color and chestnut frame, and we did the chestnut tanks, uh, just gorgeous. Great looking colors. I didn't, I didn't think it was going to work as well as it did, but I'm super happy with it. Three hundred inch wheelbase, low low air leaf suspension. Three axle disc brakes. Got a nice Holland air slide on it. 48 inch, uh, 336 gears. Polished mud flap holders. Level one Alcoa wheels. I always do the level ones just because a polished up level one uh, looks better than a Durabrite. Uh, but if we were talking about an order truck and you want Durabrites, I'd be more than happy to order them for you. And just like always on my fifth wheel stands, if, if your fifth wheel height is not correct, I keep these, these legs in a variety of heights and I can paint them to color, color match and install those. But, this should be um, a good workable height for you for most applications. Uh, you'll notice always on my 300s they're, they're uh, bolted instead of huck bolted. It's no fun uh, putting accessories and doing custom work when you got to get the torch out to knock the huck bolts out. And with all the 300s from the factory double framed just a requirement from Peterbilt. Uh, this truck has the, the Hodge built 30 inch deep drop quarter fenders. Been doing a lot of half fender and full full fender jobs lately. Um, if you can think of it, I can add it to this truck. Uh, there's really nothing we can't do. So um, a lot of times I sell a truck and then I'm, you know, a week or so rigging it up even more. Not uncommon. Six lights in the back of the sleeper, antenna mounted, mounted center on the back of the sleeper. Of course, the air ride cab, 100 gallon tank on this side. These are uh, these are brand new straps for me. I haven't had these before. Uh, really happy with the way they came out. It's just a different look. Uh, one more thing, you're not you know you're not going to pass a truck this color combination. You're not going to pass a truck with those straps really try and individualize these as much as I can. I always like to show you my Phoenix light kits. Everything's weather sealed connectors on a factory harness. Uh, this truck came wired from the factory ready for this light kit. There's no butt connectors, no black tape. Nothing that's uh, going to cause you problems down the road. Polished def tank cover. Polished exhaust with the elbows, seven inch miter cuts. Big disconnect for the battery. Polished air tanks, polished step box. Uh, this truck has three batteries in it. Front and rear air cleaner lights. Again, all on a factory harness. It's all just plug and play. 15 inch premium air cleaners. The nicer one of the two versions you can get from the factory. Uh, big difference if you're looking at trucks, you'll notice that the screen here is different. Polished heated power mirrors. The little black plastic piece clamped on there, that's for the uh, satellite radio among other things.
See, we did a uh, 12 inch blind mount drop visor. And while we're up there, we did two more additional roof lights and changed all the amber lenses out to clear with, with LEDs in them. Look really good at night. Five and a half inch drop, car hauler air ride front axle. We'll get a little better look at that here in a second. Uh, 20 inch blind mount bumper with the uh, recessed license plate. That's been uh, very popular lately. Been selling a lot of those over the, over the parts counter. Polished surround, polished headlights. Horse polish step over here covering up the the diesel particulate filter and that filter on this new x15 uh, recommended service is somewhere between four and six hundred thousand miles so it's uh, a very reasonable expectation is to only clean it twice every million miles nice nice upgrade from where we started years ago Hundred and thirty-five gallon tank on this side. Polished sleeper vents. Of course, this truck has the, the three grill bars. We can do four more for a total of seven. <clears throat> and no, the hood won't always sound like that. They just, uh, until they've been opened a handful of times, they're a little squeaky, but they have been greased. So look at that air ride front end. Uh, dual leveling valves, one on each side. There's a uh, that bend in the axle there. That's that's how you can tell whether it's a, a three and a half or a five. And this one's the five inch drop. Remote lube. Heated fuel filter. service ports for checking the fuel system uh, nice little upgrade much easier for the mechanics if they ever have, and have to test the system or do something like that this new Cummins X15 it's 565 horsepower 2050 foot-pounds of torque uh, that's a big upgrade over over a lot of the 1850s that we've sold in the past and I still stock them it's a few thousand dollar upgrade, but it's it's so so worth it. Uh, it comes with, or it doesn't come with, but when you order that torque package, you have to get the bigger clutch, the bigger transmission, the bigger drive line, and actually a heavier duty set of rear ends. Um, if you look on the build sheet, the rear ends in this truck are listed as high performance. Uh, not much different than a uh, standard set of rears. I think they just have a little bit different bearing and the housing may be just a touch thicker, uh, but there's not hardly any weight difference. So I think it's just the materials used. I'm sure someone will correct me on that. Pre-wired for fog lights. Uh, just plug and play, already wired to the dash. All your, all your fuel lines have Arctic wrap on them. And then the cab sleeper, floors, wall, or floors, wall, ceiling, everything has has the extra insulation package in it. And <clears throat> although you know, I always say that I always tell the story. It was designed to help keep it warm in the winter. Uh, it actually the the big the best side effect from it is it helps it keep it cool easier in the summer. So uh, you don't always have to have have it on as cold as it'll go with the fan on 10 trying to stay cool 
it'll actually do you a pretty good job. Look in the bunk here, there's the uh, speaker bo subwoofer box with the built-in amplifier. Uh, those white panels there are the panels that went there. The, obviously we take them off whenever we put the light kit on. Um, Just put them in the truck, the new owner may want them. Premium mattress, back window with the curtain. We'll look at the uh, platinum interior in here. Black sear seats, dual armrest on the driver's seat. Of course, it's got keyless entry. I get asked a lot what a what a truck like this weighs. Let's just call it 19. Chrome stick. One of those little details I like to do that a lot of people overlook, or a lot of other dealers. Full rosewood dash with all bright bezel gauges. All the extra switches. Satellite radio, navigation, and it's got it all. Uh, dump valve for the rear. Can't get a dump valve for the front from the factory, um, but they are easy enough to install if you want to put that bumper on the ground when you park it. Factory CB, leather steering wheel, of course, power windows and locks. And with the factor CV, put the speaker up in the corner. And microphone for your hands free phone. Platinum moniker there on, on that little storage spot under the sleeper or under the bed. Standard closet here. Controls here. This closet has the workstation. All the pull-out storage. Desk. Great for the laptop. Ready for your TV. And again, if there's any other accessories you need, if you need an APU, an inverter, a bunk heater, I do that stuff constantly. I don't always, I don't, you can't really do an APU from the factory. <clears throat> um, the inverter, the one from the factory is a great piece. Say for instance, if we're doing a Thermal King APU, I'd rather go ahead and do the Thermal King inverter and the Thermal King bunk heater and just uh, that way it's all in one place. I, I don't want to. I don't want to do a Cobra inverter, a Peterbilt heater, and a, some other brand APU. Uh, I, it's just easier if it's all tied together. But yeah, any upgrades you need, we can handle it. Um, my name's Steve Carboni. If you've got any questions, you can always reach me, 918-808-5638. You can call me or text me anytime, uh, evenings, weekends, whatever. And uh, uh, if you've got a trade, I'll put a number on your trade. I've been doing this well over 15 years. And uh, uh, if you need financing, anything like that, uh, you're not going to tell me a story I haven't heard. Uh, but I will, will let you know uh, what your options are. And, and try and help you all I can, as always. So, 918-808-5638. Subscribe to this page. Uh, check out my Facebook, Instagram. Everything's under Peterbilt Steve. Uh, PeterbiltSteve.com. It's close. Uh, you can go check it out. Um, you can contact me through there. Or, again, send me a text. And if you've got any questions, if I can help you with anything, just let me know. We'll see you guys on the next video. Appreciate you.